Okay. So um, welcome back. This is um, this is part three of the uh, uh, the bowl making um, instructional video that I'm trying to do. I'm Andy Fortune of the Mulberry Tree Wood Turnery. Um, so I was going to talk a little bit about lathes. This is um, this is a record power lathe, a new one that's um, been out about a year or so, uh, called the Coronet Herald. Um, it's a, I've got three of these. Um, I use them mainly for teaching. Um, but I find it's a really good lathe. It's, uh, it's nice and powerful. It's got a one horsepower motor. Um, it's also got a, a swivel head which you can adjust around, which gives you various different options. Um, if you've got a fixed head lathe, then you're restricted over the, uh, the maximum diameter that you can turn over the bed. On this particular lathe, it's got a 7 inch swing, which means you can do a 14 inch um, bowl over the bed. But if you swivel it right round until it's outboard, you can do up to 24 inches. <coughs> but what I tend to do, and which I find quite useful, um, is to actually just give it a little bit of a, a twist offset like that. Um, and that allows you to get around the bowl with the chisels much easier. Um, so we prepared a piece of wood for the lathe, um, our bowl blank, we cut a piece out and we've attached a face plate to it. Um, so the face plate really needs to be um, then attached to the, uh, the chuck. So the chuck is something that you don't normally get with a, with a lathe, you have to buy this as an extra. Um, record do two different types, we, we've got the SC3 and this is an SC4 which is a slightly um, larger chuck but it's still got the standard 50mm um, 2 inch jewels on it. Um, as I said before the, uh, the chuck comes with a faceplate ring, uh, this is this metal ring that we've attached to the, uh, the top of the bowl bank. And it's got this um, dovetail recess in here, which allows us to, uh, to grip it in the dovetail jaws. So these jaws are slightly swept back, um, and the jaws expand and they grip it underneath this rim. Um, and this is exactly the same recess that we're going to do in the bottom of the bowl um, to grip it round the other way. So this is the reason why we do the underside first. We make this recess the same as the one that's in the, uh, in the ring itself. And then that allows us to grip it the other way around to do the inside of the bowl. Um, so it's quite important to make sure that you get that right. Um, and it's, uh, um, it's not difficult, it just takes a little bit of practice. So the first thing I'm going to do is to um, attach this bowl blank to the lathe. So the, um, the bowl blank has its uh, faceplate ring screwed on. And then we can expand the jaws, as you can see there, I'm expanding those outwards, and they'll sit underneath this ring on the inside here and grip nice and tight. So I'm expanding the, the jaws out, they're gripping nice and tightly on there using both sides of the keyway. Because it's mechanical they'll move slightly differently so it's better just to give them a tweak on both keyways. And then I'll just give it a wobble, make sure it's not going to fall off. So that's fine. <coughs> so that's it, so that's the, uh, the, the piece of wood attached to the lathe. Um, the other thing, thing that's on the lathe here is uh, this bit here is the, um, is the tool rest and the banjo. The banjo is the bit that sits on the bed of the, the lathe, the bed is this bit here. And this has got a cam lock, so when I push this lever down, it'll lock the banjo nice and firmly onto the bed. Um, so what I can need to do now is to um, is just to true this face up here. Um, Although it's fairly even, there is always going to be a little bit of a discrepancy here from one side to the other where it's been cut on the sawmill. Um, so it, it's, I find it's a lot better to true that up first before you start doing the shaping cuts. Um, it just allows you to start the cut when we're doing the shaping without the chisel being, the tip of the chisel being knocked away. Um, and it's much easier to start the cut. So that's it. 